All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Raptoria. Welcome back to you, Raptorians. And welcome to our, uh, not first look, but really a first in-depth look at a game called Bulwark uh, Falconeer Chronicles. Developer a few years ago made this game called Falconeer. And by the way, this game was made by a, a single dude. And um, if you go to their store page, uh, it, it is a, a sequel in a way to a game called uh, Falconeer Chronicles. And uh, seemed pretty cool. I took a look at it a few days ago and really enjoyed it. It has a lot to do with, like, um, I don't know, it feels like Anno, but in a mi much different way, you know, managing islands and shipping things between them. And uh, there's a lot of cool stuff to build, and you can build things in a custom way. There is a tech tree, too, and a lot of cool things like ships and flying ships. Anno has those. Anno 1800 has those. So, uh, anyway, uh, looks like a really cool game. It was fun to uh, take a little bit of a dabble into it before, and now I'm back for more. So good to see you all here. Oh, wow. Is this... The, oh, this is interesting. This looks like a city that's built on the ocean floor with like a barrier keeping things at bay. Cool. Anyway, it looks uh, very complex and confusing. Uh, I'm going to take a look at a couple of the videos, then we'll jump in and start building. And we'll start from scratch and um, see what it's all about. So, yeah, welcome aboard. Good to see you all here. All right, let's uh, let's check it out. And let's go with that one. Ooh, pretty. Do you have what it takes to become a master builder? To create and build, they become one with the land itself. Revealing its potential through experimentation and exploration. Imagine a bridge across a chasm. The master follows the cracks and movements of the rocks, revealing what may become. Wow. The master poses the riddle, and the rocks provide the answer. A lot of cool cities already. It reveals its resources easily, allowing mere men to pick a way and find the ore. But it takes a true master to deliver those resources to where they are needed most. I'm getting Dune vibes to from this music. Look at that rocks. ship. To make the water oh, they got guns. The Shallows and depths, pirates and raiders, mere obstacles. Another puzzle for the master to extract from the landscape. We are providing cover for your trade routes. No hostiles in sight. Out there, there are other people doing their best to survive, seeking not to succumb to the forces of the great Ursi. And just like the flows of rock and water, the master must reveal their place and Spoiling for a fight, are we? Violence may come. The tool of those who refuse the call of the landscape. Who seek to command a world that cannot be controlled. The true master understands this. Submit to the landscape and the strength of rock and water become yours. The shelter of the world. Your bulwark, unbreakable and eternal. Tell of a trailer. Uh, let's see. I want to see another one. Now this looks like Dune. All the colors. 32 hours. Oh, this is cool. They actually tell you how long it'll get to this point. So, by the way, 20,000 constructions carved. I think every single platform in this game could be constructed out of stone on, like, the side of a cliff to make a flat land to then build a house on top of it. So there's, like, uh, there's like a big tower then stuff around it, then buildings on top of that, then bridges to connect that, so... 
Yeah, the art design is really cool. It's, it, it's a little bit of minimalism, but the fact that you can make 20,000 buildings and 100,000 people, which might not necessarily be rendered in, but the fact that these numbers are here and it's all custom, that's, that's a lot for, uh, you know, a system to memorize. Like, tw you know, 20,000 buildings like that. Wow. Oh, you know what this looks like? This, this looks a little bit like Frostpunk 2 with how the... Like in the gameplay trailer for Frostpunk 2, seeing like the city on different elevations and then all the whatever it looked to be like maybe bridges or like uh, rail networks or something connecting all those together, whatever it was. Uh, it's really cool. Oh, man. All right, all the buildings and stuff look beautiful. So the, the trailer seeming really tense and the uh, buildings looking really, really beautiful. Uh, yeah, more, more on the day-night cycle. All right, let's go build stuff. I want to go build stuff. Let's go. Trailer's got me hype, brother. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kevin, thank you very much for almost two years of support. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, let's jump into this. Yay! Ooh, the ships look cool. Yeah, the ships look really cool. I think there's multiple factions too, so all the ships kind of look different based on the factions. And yeah, this game is out now. I think it came out a uh, couple of couple of days ago. All right, so we did take a first look video on this one and kind of went through the tutorial, which also kind of sets up the story. It was kind of like a tutorial slash like uh, lore building. And obviously in the city builder, it takes, uh, as they said in the trailer, 32 hours to get to a point where you can have like 20, 30,000 buildings on a, to a cliff. A game about chaotic creativity. Nope. Nope, hold on. Conventional controls, one button to paint the landscape, another to move about. And while you paint towers and walls, people start to make the world come alive. <laughs> Keep building, that's the trick. This can be confusing at first, overwhelming even. But don't worry, there's also no mistakes. The solo dev himself has said that there's no possible way to make mistakes. Oh good, we're lucky. Let's begin. This is the campaign mode. Here you get a taste of the open world building sandbox. It has a basic tutorial, a resource system based only on distance rather than how much you can produce, and an ever expanding set of encounters, world events, and unlockables. So these are three different factions, I believe, that we get to play as in the uh, in this uh, story mode. I think the story mode also serves to be a tutorial, like many you know campaigns and mini missions and games let you uh, play the campaign which introduces new features over time and then there's a free there is a free play slash sandbox mode for the game too so let's start with one a word of advice click and build everywhere there are no mistakes and slowly figuring out what builds where and how things grow is part of the game it's about experimenting so don't be afraid and go wild <laughs> cool all right so we'll be playing as the free houses uh, for chapter one, the free houses value prosperity, stability, and growth. They want to rebuild, desiring only peace. I, again, I'm getting heavy Dune vibes from this, but there is a whole game out there called Falconeer that we played before long ago on the channel where you get to play as like a, a essentially somebody like riding a bird, like all these armies fight. And so this is taking place like after the wars of that game, which is pretty cool. Uh, faction leaning free house, starting location New Haven, starting extractors one of each, extractor range high, hostile encounters enabled, raids enabled, 
resource depletion enabled. So we can be attacked. So there is combat in this game. There is naval ships. There is warfare. Uh, there is defenses. There is um, what you'd imagine what you'd want from a game like this. And that's why I say it plays like a Anno too, because you're building ships and or you know guns on the shore. But honestly, it's like everybody's clinging to these little islands. So there's not really much land to fight over. It would just be like house to house stuff. What's up, Emma? Good to see you. Ooh, and we got a, an achievement, too. Okay, now, I want to... Is there a way to restart this? Oh, oh, Twitch. Is there Twitch integration? What? Twitch username, Twitch channel. Wait. What is? What happens if we do this? <gasps> Hold on. This game has Twitch integration. What happens? Maybe maybe chat can join the city? Hold on, I, I want to see what happens. It says busy. This will be interesting to see what happens because when we played, uh, what was it called? Um, ah, yeah, the Universum. When we played that, everyone could become nuggets and stuff, which was really cool. Uh, Bill says busy. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, chat can spawn. Oh, what? What is this? Chat usernames for NPCs. Chat can force choices. All right, how do you guys join this stuff then? Wow, there's lip syncing and stuff too. What the hell? Lol. I don't know how that's going to work. I guess it'll pop up on screen and tell you what to do. Um, wow, so now we get to make an avatar too? That's awesome. Um. Wow, our character looks like somebody out of Frostpunk. You can wear a hood. Cool. <laughs> we could get RGB lighting. A monocle. Dude, what the hell? That's crazy. All right, let's give that a try. I, I don't know how that's going to work. Um, so this is a city that I built back from a, in a video, but I want to start completely fresh. Is there a way to do that? Can I go to the save? and Let's see if I can go delete save because I want to I want to start fresh. If there's a way to do that. Oh, wait, there was clear progression. I just saw it. Yes. All right, let's start from scratch. And we'll see if Chad can mess with me. Our people were wrecked during the War of the Trees. Dunkel, Castellus, Moorbridge, and even Port Remit. Nothing remained of our prosperous free houses after decades of attrition. We took what we had and left. In order to resettle in peace away from the warlords and fiefdoms that remain we will succeed because on our backs the past was built and from our hands the future will be wrought cool tutorial preparing resources our ship's doing donuts. Oh, you're finally here. We built a few essential buildings. I'll assist you in connecting things and getting the settlement up and running. I think that guy's supposed to read for us. Uh, while you're on the ground, we will focus on a single building at a time. This will allow you to build outward in a variety of ways and upwards later on.
Hmm. Let's see. Mute advisor voice. Oh. I wanted the other guy to read for me. I liked his voice. Felt like we were in Dune or something like that. First, connect the outpost to the wood mill, which is located down in the shallow water beside the sea tree fungi. Without wood, we cannot build. They want us to build down there. No, oh, is it right click? That's cool as hell. It made all the things necessary to get down there. So it made some pathways and then an elevator and then a bridge. I like that. Uh, notice how workers have already are already building houses in industry along the walkway. Whenever you build, our workers will build houses along there. Uh, this is the wood mill produces and transports woods across the walkway. Let's use a basic wooden tower with a walkway towards it. All right, extend the line with the mouse until the circle is displayed, then right mouse button, build a new connecting tower from the uh, wood mill. Okay. Oh, I see. I think we're going to build over there eventually. Cool. You just built a basic tower. It's used to connect your settlement and transport vital resources. Re uh, workers can also build homes and industry around it. Uh, select a wood mill. A wood can only travel a limited number of walkways away from the wood mill, but this can be increased by encouraging workers to build long walkways connected to the wood mill. buildings look really cool build more connecting towers and walkways from the wood mill inspect the resource flow with tab to see the output of the wood mill okay so I assume that circle is where a wood mill needs to be in order to gather from that tree so let's build more towers then. Good work. The wood mill is now delivering wood farther than before, so we can move on. Across from the wood mill, we also uh, built a stone quarry. Let's connect that to our settlement. Okay. We can only build in shallow waters. Look at the storm. Oh, cool, there's a drawbridge. Select your outpost so we can expand it further. Build connecting walkways to the stone quarry already built on the rocks beyond the wood mill. Are we already connected to that? Resource extractors missing access to workers. The stone quarry works similarly to the wood mill. It produces stone that could travel a limited number of walkways.
Oh. Chat, you can actually interact with... Okay. Just so you guys know, exclamation point Twitch right now and go over to Twitch in order to uh, spawn yourself into the game. Like, you could be a person in the game and you can also choose certain things, like if you're mad or whatever. I don't know. Chat, chat's trying to get... Chat's trying to start a riot already in the, ch in the uh, Twitch chat. They're trying to spawn like bears. <laughs> so exclamation point Twitch on YouTube and go follow over there. Okay, select the outpost. Okay. Build connecting walkways to the stone quarry already built on the rocks beyond the wood mill. I think I think we already did that. I think it's asking me to uh, connect a road that goes all the way there, but I, I'm pretty sure it's all connected. weather effects this is gonna be awesome well I guess I got to build more walkways so let's do that tower needs to be connected to your stone quarry and be in its range before it can be upgraded Select your outpost so we can start building it further. Outpost can be upgraded as well. Let's use the stone to upgrade the outpost to the second stage. Ah. We can add foundations to basic towers and outposts. These allow workers to build a higher class of housing on them, increasing worker output. Oh, there we go. So now we're going to get more workers by building foundations for them. Neat. Add a foundation to the outpost. Extend the build line slowly until the square is displayed. All right. Worker output of your outpost can be improved further by connecting more towers and walkways. Don't try to spawn Ryan Reynolds, chat. Build more connecting towers and walkways to your outpost. Inspect the worker flow. Well, now I'm just building, like... Flat areas for them to build houses. This is cool. So we're using the stone to build foundations that workers can then use to build their houses. All right, we did it. Uh, flying surveyor. We've done well. It's time we started building more ambitious. Take to the skies and seek out iron ore. <laughs> this looks cool as hell already. Uh, space to switch between air and ground. Oh, there we go. Your surveyor allows you to build re resource extractors, harbors, and outposts on other islands. It will also help you to get out of trouble, which is never far on the Ursi. Find an iron resource on one of the small islands nearby. M for the world map. Uh, the world map shows your holdings, which we can fly a uh, fast travel to. I will also mark any freelance captains that enter our waters, as well as suspicious locations. Mm. There's iron there and there. We'll go here, I guess. Also, this is the uh, the tech tree here. So we can unlock a lot more tech and building under soul tree. We also have an inventory. Oh, that's cool. It tells you how many uh, things you've constructed. Actually, we should have one wood mill. Your surveyor can build a mine on this spot. Workers will mine for ore, and the metallurgical industry will be built around it. Iron will allow our most advanced towers and buildings.
cool. Uh, we now have access to iron, but it needs to be transported across the water. Let us build a trade route for ships that can transport iron and other resources back and forth. Arbors must be built in deep water close to the shore. Bound building. When your cursor changes to an anchor, a suitable captain can be assigned. I will only carry iron and workers for our industries. Several captains are now available, okay. The iron I transport is helping our settlement grow and prosper. Uh, the iron I transport is helping our settlement grow and prosper. Yeah, okay. Arbors always need to be built as pairs. As soon as you build two, a trade route will connect them. Captains will carry your resources over vast distances. All right, so we got to go back to the town. Pay attention to political influence of your settlement. If one faction becomes dominant over others, our neighbors may seek reason to rekindle old grievances. Hmm. Build the destination harbor in the deeper waters near your outpost. A trade route will automatically uh, be established between the two harbors. Golden arrow on the compass points back to the outpost. Okay. Let's build a harbor. Yeah. Uh, trade route is now established. Okay. Select your outpost so we can expand further. Oh, I got to switch back to this, I think. With iron, we can start building defensive structures such as imposing command towers, but before doing so, we need to upgrade our outpost into a proper citadel. Okay. With all the major resources at our disposal, let's focus on building command towers. These can be built with multiple floors as well as additional foundations and balconies. Upgrade a stone tower several times until it becomes a command tower. Mighty command towers have the potential to reach high into the sky. Their height can be increased by adding more foundations as well as having better access to workers. Build this tower as high as possible. Now we're going higher and higher. Change the floor that you're building from. Lower floors build foundations. Higher floors build balconies and sky bridges. Okay. Command tower foundations are strong battlements that support your tower. Foundations allow more floors to be built on the tower. Build four foundations from your command tower. Balconies are built from high floors. The more expansive your tower, the more powerful your commanders will become if they're assigned here. Build three balconies from your command tower. Command tower is looking stout. Uh, we already have a, an experienced warbird commander among our retwine. Let's assign them to the command tower. You will find no finer stable. Not since the heyday of the War of the Tree. In 
service to our people, while retinue of falconeers is eager to settle in and get their warbirds airborne. Do not delay. Okay, let's assign you. Rest assured, friend, my warbirds are the strongest and fastest. My stable mixes Sark Hunter and Northern Grey Dive traits. Warbirds, the likes of which have not been seen for decades. Cool, dude. All right, Tower and the Commander uh, now stand watch over the settlement. Their forces will deploy, joining our battle group when they, when the surveyor is near the command tower. Ooh. Our settlement is established. We have access to resources, a citadel, and command towers. It's time to explore the surrounding area, finding more people that will help us thrive. Oh, you mean chat? Okay. These are desperate times, so we may need to accept unlikely neighbors. But be wary of who you invite in. If they bring old allegiances, conflict is sure to uh, follow. You boy. Infighting. Great. <clears throat> uh, now it's all up to you. Head out and explore the Ursi. Rebuild our societies you see fit. Protect yourself and our citizens. Good luck. Wow. Alright. Um... Well, pretty. All right, so there's more wood down there, more iron over there. Huh. Smelly log floater. Oh, I missed what it said at the bottom. I really wish it would... Uh, I, I hope there's an update that uh, makes it so that way the game will... Uh, you know, like, you can you could disable the... I want the advisor to read all that stuff while I'm learning, because as I'm busy looking at other stuff, I want to be able to listen while I work. Oh, there comes the boat with the iron and the workers. Man, the music's really cool. Um... Where was that extra wood? Over that way, okay. So we could build over there to get wood. But we gotta stay in the shallow waters. Wait, I could build a tower here. No iron available for the upgrade. Oh, we gotta wait for more iron to come in. Alright, well, we'll build some neighborhoods while we wait. Oh, cool. Oh, that's really neat. So our population's going up. I wonder how we're getting food. I, I would imagine maybe everybody's just fishing. This does remind me a bit of Townscaper as well, which was a very beautiful, very chill uh, city builder too. It just kind of reminds me of how that game works. that iron coming in from over there uh oh output range workers wood stone and iron well I, I would imagine more workers will mean more stone and iron
this is cool as hell. All these buildings just look really neat. And the and the building is like so random in a way. Very cool. So I want to see if I can build a tower to get over this mountain to then go to the other uh, iron mine. Or was it... Uh, no, it was wood. No iron available for this upgrade. But we're mining iron, though. And the wood we need to get to is up there. Cannot build here, there's no access to wood nearby. Ah. Maybe we can build the, uh... Extractor here. You have no available resource extractors. Okay. So we got to be able to make one. Also, what's all this research for? Well, these are all the people in our camp. These are captains we have access to for transporting materials. We'll have to get more in the future. We have a forge master, a master mason, and a millwright. So there's... This is really cool. There's actually three people in charge of the materials. So the uh, logs, the iron, and the... Mason for stone. And then it looks like maybe a foreman of that one logging camp already. Faction population 374. Citadel's one. Captain's active one. Commander's active one. Uh, Soul Tree shows you captains and commanders that have been unlocked, accepted, and assigned per faction. More superior commanders and captains are unlocked. As the population of a faction increases, captains and commanders may also be assigned and dismissed from here. Inventory. Mechanics unlock new surveyor classes that you could choose to be your main surveyor. You could change your surveyor here. Oh. If we don't like this one, we can change it. Although sea trees, the giant fungi, are relatively common in the earth sea, the process of Hardening their soft material into light, strong wood is difficult. Therefore, wood mills and skilled crews are rare. Hmm. But I want more. Uh, I want more wood here. No stone available for an upgrade. I think we could build worker houses here to extend this range. So let's try to build housing. I want to build those little squares so that houses can be placed on those. I 
Maybe we could upgrade our tower to increase range. So plus four, negative two. Free house command tower. Well, they did say we could look around and find more people too. That might be people there. Maybe that's what that means. Let's go check that out. With our ship. Let's go see who's over there. Also reminds me a bit of um, Airborne Kingdom, too. Uh-oh. That looks like a skull. Is this a rival faction? sure who that is. Yeah, it could be pirates, yeah. Rap, did you know Crate just came out with a new beta for Farthest Frontier to change your villagers into bears? Might have been just for you. No effing way. Did they just tweet that out for April Fools? No way. Hold on. Everybody's tweeting all these memes. No effing way. Oh, no effing way. Oh, no. All the citizens are just bears. And it's a bear riding a horse. <laughs> no. No way. Oh, we might have to play this today. There's bears all in the fields. No. Oh, look at that. There's a bear taking down a tree. No way. <laughs> bears working at the wood chopper. Wow. <laughs> and, and, and a bear is driving the oxen cart. Look at how huge the ox is compared to the bear. Wow. That thing's like two or three stories tall. Comparison to a bear. Wow, a bear pushing the little wheelbarrow around. A wheelbarrow. No effing way. They put in a lot of work here. When well, working at the, uh, I think that's the forger. No, that's the beehive. Of course. Of course a bear would be working at the beehive. Oh, and the uh, it's the other way around. This guy's supposed to be a bear and he's chasing all the bears away. Like in the actual game, these would all be people, and that would be a bear chasing everyone away. It looks like this guy's coming to smack bears with an oar. No. No! They changed the O in front T. Oh, farthest front bear. What the hell is this? What in the hell is this? Oh my god. I thought chat was lying. No way. <laughs> Today we're proud to announce the major features of our upcoming 4124 update. That's not even close. Uh, this may be a bit of a version jump, but bear with us. It'll make sense. Wow, criminals. Absolute criminals. Uh, I'm going to have to make a tweet about this. Hold on. I hate to stop the show dead stop like this, but this is important. One, it's farthest frontier, and two, it's literally just bears. I can't believe this.
I, I love my my favorite is probably the bear just riding the horse, just casually r riding through town. Is it? You know, they really should make it a version you can download. Honestly, I think for the entire month of April, there should just be like a little options checkbox that just says bear mode, and uh, it just there's a version like that. No way. Can you actually download that? Hold on. No, there's not. Okay. Wait. Okay. And I had to check. If there's an actual mode like that, you guys need to tell me. I need to tweet this out, though, because it's just too perfect. Great entertainment's uh Oh got it. Is the guy in red supposed to be me? Yeah, the guy in the lower right corner. Yeah, you could make your avatar. I think you could change it anytime you want. Sorry, there we got some big bear news developing on the uh on the front of uh farthest frontier. I can't believe this. I might never be able to play this game again now. Attacked and betrayed by the th the very thing I loved. Okay, I tweeted. <laughs> Exclamation point Twitter if you want to see that. Sorry. That, that, that's hilarious. That's absolutely hilarious. Hilarious, really. All right, what were we doing? I totally lost what the hell we were up to. I think we were heading back to town for some reason. I can't believe it. A bear has just completely stunlocked me. Bro, they put that in for me. I wonder if there's some other good ones. It's available on my Steam as a beta. How? There's like a code for it. Usually you have to type in a code. We might have to play Farthest Frontier Bear Mode today. We might have to, like legally obligated. If anyone can figure out how to get into bear mode for Farthest Frontier, we'll... Maybe we should start a new bear settlement today? Bear World? Well, actually, our city's name is Bearborg. So maybe we don't have to restart at all. Okay, sorry, I forgot where we were. So I got the uh, getting the, the ship back over here. A refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we could take these people in. Ooh. Oh, up there. Okay. Now we can get more settlers. Go to the crate page you were on and scroll to the bottom. Oh, it's in the uh, in the forums. You mean? No. All right, I'll check that later. All right, we're playing farthest front bear front front bear today. I can't believe it. Hey, look at this little town. This looks cool. How do we recruit you? Do I have to build something? Investigate left mouse button we hold. Are humble refugees, many from the great imperial houses. Please demolish this paltry holding, and we will rebuild wherever you survey a good spot. Okay, ma'am. <laughs> uh, yes. We are but humble refugees. Outpost to salvage and relocate, increase imperial houses. alignment in place. Okay. So do I got to build like a little dock to accept them? And then they'll transport via boat? Else. 
My ship only carries wood and workers. My ship carries wood. My ship. I will carry stone and workers only. Nothing else. Okay. Brings me joy to see our settlement thriving. My ship only carries wood and workers. A new home. Let's see if we can get them over here as fast as possible. Refugee settlement has been spotted. Okay, yep. <coughs> so they should be automatically coming to our port. Now we built one port. Do we have to build multiple ports for each? Like, does it have to be one to one or can ports be used multiple times? And what the hell is that? Go check that out. Properties of farthest frontier and then beta and then click bear mode. Yeah. Alright, All right, we'll play bear mode today. God damn. I can't believe it. This meager holding was always a last resort. We need a more permanent home. Demolish this temporary haven so we can rebuild upon a spot of your choosing. Oh, wait, this is Money's Girl 65 up here. One of you guys from the Twitch chat is actually in the game now. Sweet. All right, exclamation point Twitch in the YouTube chat if you want to, like, there's some commands you can type in in the Twitch chat, and it'll let you be in the game and or do some other stuff. Like, you can vote on attacking me with bears or something. Who knows? So how do I uh, get you people over here? I can't build a dock. Oh, I can. Okay, so let me unassign that other... So I'll unassign the other boat here. <laughs> Exclamation point spawn pizza. It brings me joy to see a new home. Seeing it my ship. Okay, and then we'll get that guy over on the other side. So I guess we're transporting workers to the main city now. We're finding all these people who are like survivors. How do I modify the dock? My ship only carries wood and workers. A new home. I've seen it. Okay, cool. All right, so that should bring workers back to the main city. Is there a way to connect these two? Okay, so wait. It's taking workers from the city in the north to the city in the south. There's another one. I th Do I have to fly all the way back and forth? I, I feel like there should be a... I wish there were a management screen here to be able to control which dock goes where. Docks are one-to-one. -one. They're built in pairs. Thank you. Okay, so A goes to B, and that's the way they have to be built. So that means i got to fly back and forth a bunch. So is there a way I can demolish that building or change that setting? It'd be nice just to have a simple control to change that. Otherwise, we got to fly all the way across the map, which is a little fun. Switch to buildings, okay. Demolish. Okay. All right, I think I got it. I'll set it up right now. Chat was waiting for uh, Farthest Frontier to put in bear mode. I guess this is officially the 1.0 release of Farthest Frontier now, huh? There's no need to uh, no need to add anything more to the game. Oh, I could teleport from the world map from buildings that I own? Okay, thank you. 
But I still need to use the ship in order to, uh, to build. Okay. Let's do this right. So go back to our ship. Oh, I love how the birds are actually following the airship. That's really neat. What is that? Is that a warship? Uh-oh. My ship and kin have served Dunkel for generations. The time my ship and kin oh. have served Dunkel for generations. Dunkel is no more. I was hoping to serve your new settlement and find honor in protecting your trade routes. Okay, so now we get a warship. That's awesome. So I guess they'll head back to the main camp, maybe? Okay, so now I gotta build a dock. I will carry stone and workers only, nothing else. Oh, the ship will uh, teleport too? Okay, cool. Okay, so let's get that one built. Then we want to go back to the main city and then build a dock there. So, we, so we're gonna actually build like a like a massive port with multiple like docks essentially. That's cool. So how do I teleport? Travel here. Ah, that's cool. All right. And then where was my other uh, where was my other dock? I guess I'll just build it out here. Enemies are wreaking ha havoc. A captain has lost their ship. Wait, what? Damn it, Chad, are you attacking with pirates? I don't know how the hell to deal with that yet. Where's our friendly warship? My ship only carries wood and workers. Unconnected. So then if I assign somebody there. My ship only carries wood and workers. A new home. Seeing it prosper fills me with pride. I don't see a trade route between the two. Let me build another one. Wait, what? Oh, maybe, um... Oh, the birds that fly with you protect you? Oh, I see. Oh, they're, um... They're like units from the, the Falcon game at the beginning. From the original. Are we supposed to build one at the main base then, out in the world map? Hmm. Interesting. Try that again. My ship only carries wood and workers. Safe route, okay. A new home, seeing it prosper. And then let's try that one. My ship carries wood. Unconnected. Hmm.
I feel like there should be a way to just do this here. Yeah, I've got these I've got these uh, docks going right back to the Okay, I think we got to get rid of these. I think. Okay, so it looks like we only have one dock now. Oh, and then it disconnected that trade route. I I feel like there should be just an easier way to connect these two together on the world map. Rather than messing around with all the building. Also, do we have... Oh, okay, so that captain's dead now. From the pirates from before from chat, I see. Oh, I see. Now, if I build one dock... Okay, so it automatically connected that again. So now the iron trade has been reestablished. And then... Oh, we can dismantle these and rebuild them? We don't have to teleport people? Like this? What? Well, that's weird. I thought we were going to have to bring, like, survivors over via boat. So we're getting, like, materials for this? Okay. We're getting, like, free materials to build elsewhere. Alright. Where'd that warship go that we had? Oh, there it is. I also didn't see the warship in our uh, command options. Could be there, though. Really cool that we got a warship now. Is backseating allowed? Back backseating's fine so long as it's like relevant and not, uh, you know, you, you gotta keep it short and sweet. My ship only carries wood and work. But I'm gonna try demolishing these. Just chat said I could build these elsewhere. Okay. There's a warship there. I think that's the one from before. This game is, like, interestingly very simple and very complicated at the same time. Like, the controls are very simple of just, like... There's not even, like, a build menu. It's kind of more like everything is expanded upon, like, the uh, the outpost it's or whatever. Alright, cool. We got a new captain now. But remember, chat, there's no mis... Thomas Sala said that there's no... We can't make mistakes in this game, so we're doing everything correctly. Thomas said that himself. What's more valuable than a warm hearth in these bleak times? Well, look no further. Master fabricator of boilers and heated houses at your service. Had some minor mishaps at my previous patron, but I assure you, I can deliver fabulous Mark II heated houses. Ooh, Mark II heated houses. Thank you very much. Uh, Rob Rebel 72. What's more value? Okay, so we accepted technology. We found like some tech. All right. Let's head back to base.
Thanks for telling me about the teleport thing too, Chad. I had no idea. Okay. Um. Can I go and gather more wood now? No. We got a lot more airships though. Are those pirates? Those better not be pirates. could get more iron from over here and build another connection dock. Let's try that. Let's get more iron. No available resource extractors. Okay. I think we can just see what we got from the inventory. Oh. Imperium Outpost. A group of refugees waiting to be resettled into a new outpost. Uh, they're aligned to a faction and it'll spread its influence. Outposts provide workers and can be upgraded to citadels. So this is for the Imperium and this is the Freehouse Outpost. Okay. Okay, so I can I can I can build a new outpost then. The shard. What the hell is that thing? These are our other enemies and stuff. So I think we could build a new tower, but we need to find materials to m like mine and trees to cut down and stuff, right? So maybe down here. Or maybe I could just build another tower here by this tree. Now well, let's go scouting. So we can build a new outpost here, but there's nothing here. Another ship up there. Hmm. Maybe down here? So we pick up those outposts, we demolish them, and then we can place them elsewhere to spread our influence. Or to conquer the map more. So we do have to kind of constantly do exploration. You hope everyone's having a fantastic Monday. Chat, I found out that Farthest Frontier now has bears as the main characters. I mean characters. Exclamation point Twitter in the chat to see the unfortunate news. I didn't know what we were going to do today. Apparently we're playing Farthest Frontier. What is that? Oh, that's stone. Okay, we can make a new outpost here. So, let's build our outpost like here. Let's build it on this rock here. Sweet. Excellent. We have an outpost that will provide workers. Be mindful that outpost allegiance, this influences the balance of power for your settlements. Yo, back to Phage. Thank you very much for the two months as a Twitch Prime sub, dude. Okay, let's build a woodworking thingy now. But I have no available resource extractors. Okay. Um, 
Um, don't want that one there. Build that somewhere else. Are we like on the far right side of the map or is there more? Well, it, yeah, it looks like we should expand left and down. And maybe up. So these are all the locations. This reminds me of Sea of Thieves. Like with all the little islands and stuff. Okay, we'll come back here when I figure out more about wood. More wood is needed. Or can I get like a... Can I get a ship to teleport that stuff? I guess there are ships that will transport wood, so... I could build a dock here. Or or over here. Then have this. Okay. My ship only carries wood and workers. Good. A new home. See I need to build another one. Oh, what the hell? We're under attack. Hell yeah. Ooh, we gained XP. Nice try, chat. Launching an attack on me like that. Prey route is connected. Okay, so now I want to transport wood to that other side. So I think he's doing it. So then we should be able to expand here now. We can. Oh, sweet. I did it. I learned something. But I don't know how to build another extractor. So, chat, how do I build extractors? I want to build an extractor. How do I do that? Or do I have to find them or something? Because now I want to expand. Like, look at how huge I can make my settlement here. I just need to uh, get more resources over there. What are we doing for resources? We got a lot of wood here. You can destruct, you can deconstruct some you find. Okay, so it works just like the other settlements. So we got to go looking around for extractors and then like demolish them. Okay. I guess let's go look around. Oh yeah, there's a stone quarry up here. Okay. Probably doesn't hurt to scout out the islands around us anyway to see what's around us. What is that? Volcano?
Time to explore. Thomas, is that you? Are you in the chat, Thomas? Hey, another refugee settlement. Oh, it's next to the ship. It's you? Ah. Welcome, man. Good to see you here. I'm proud of you for making such a cool game. I really like it. I'm having trouble learning because, you know, it's, it's so different, but it's like, that's a good thing. I like. Well done. A patch is coming with uh, rebalance and better signposting. Oh, good. He saw content creators playing and he was like, oh my god. <laughs> I need to help these people. Training wheel mode activated. Looks like a cool game. Yeah, well, we, we played Falconeer on the channel before, and I thought it was a really uh, very cool, stylish game. And then when I saw it was a city builder, I'm like, no way. I cannot tell you how many times that I've seen other games where I wanted to be a city builder. Like Mad Max. Like there, There's so many games that are out that could have a city builder built onto it. I mean, literally, they're making games into farming games now anyway. Like the, the new Star Wars literally has fishing mini games and farming mini games. Every game has, like, RPG elements, a fishing minigame, and a farming minigame now. Like, literally, in Call of Duty, you plant claymores. So, I mean, technically, farming... There is farming in Call of Duty. So, there's that. Okay, what is this? Our research post has not been supplied in over a year. We would go apostate and find safety in your group. The order is fractured and cannot provide for us. Oh, I see. Dire Spitfire. All right. Where'd that boat go? He escaped. Oh, he went all the way up there. Temple of the Hidden Tears. The YouTube comment section. Coming with me, pal. <sighs> oh, and that part. There we go. Full steam. So much lore out there. Uh, build more to unlock more random events. It's population based. Ooh. All right. Let's go build more then. To check out the soul tree, what could be unlocked in the world. Yep. I did see that. Oh, we're unlocking more stuff. Is the soul tree dead? It looks very black and dying. Do we need to water it? Oh, that's right. It's all salt water. Uh, don't worry about extraction. If you need more resources, trade with your neighbors. Can I conquer my neighbors? I don't want to trade. I want them to do as I say. I should only have to ask once. You see what I mean? Declare war? No, no, no. They've declared war. I'm simply defending myself by invading their territories. Oh, they'll raid back? That's not fair. I don't want them to counterattack. Right, let's go build more stuff. I like building. Oh, that was that thing. I, I thought something blew up. Eh, let's go build over uh, here. So when do I start building, like, parking lots and strip malls and stuff? Like, I want to build, like, a Claire's. Oh, I can't build anymore.
Bum, bum, bum. Gotta run out of space. I'm gonna build on the mountain. Or there. Ooh. Sweet. Alright, so we're gonna open a Best Buy there. You can get a giant tower with a Kraken on top? What? Build on the mountain and build out your iron. Okay. I will do that. Okay, Chad, I want to announce the uh, new development of the mountaintop uh, development base. LLC. If you build around your iron, ship wood to it, the distance goes up. Oh, we we can ship wood to the iron mine in order to increase its productivity. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we have iron over there. Oh, so I just need to assign a captain to that um to that dock. Let's take the ship over there. Oh. The I transport is helping our settlement grow and pro I'll transport anything you wish me to. Ooh, this guy'll do anything. Things are improving. This route is profitable. And I've been hauling good loads. My ship carries wood. Things are good. Could do that too. Now build around the iron. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Ah, so we could build workers' quarters here. Ah. That's cool. Oh, nice. They're building smelters and stuff on the thing. Ah. Look at that. And some houses, too. The more you know. Oh, boy. Trouble. Chad, are you messing with me? our people I will patrol and defend here captain salad tree oh she'll defend uh that's probably a good idea my ship stands in good order she's ready to defend this trade route good additional uh mouse and keyboard control schemes okay So now we're producing plus six iron. Man, look at that. They filled it all up. 55 iron. Hmm. <sighs> Unconnected. Can I make her patrol here? My ship stands in good order. She's ready.
The iron ore transport is helping us. Only three. Ah, we'll make it uh, commercial. <laughs> ah, cool. We're transporting wood now. Down that other area so we can expand that. That's cool. Okay, let's do uh, a little expansion down here. So we do the same with the uh, stone quarry to increase that output then. And same with the wood. Okay. So we want to build homes around resources. Or building space. What's up, Easter Bear? Your day was yesterday. see flow going up there okay populations are now 633 we're at like 300 now we're even more Expand over there. Good. <clears throat> Iron will get a lot more building options and more population. Okay. Check the soul tree now. Okay. Oh, we'll get extra extractors from expanding like that. Okay. Iron is also good for your diet, yeah. Well, chat, diet and exercise is important. Oh, pirates again. Didn't stand a chance. Cool animation on the wings when they pop up. <laughs> you gotta make dinner, it's a weird game, sorry. It is a weird game, but you should be proud of that. 
Because somebody's got to do something different. Otherwise, we end up with octuple A games. And boy, are we all looking for forward to that. Thanks for trying it out. Yeah, I, I like this a lot. I did a video on this, and typical of when we make videos and we really, really like a game, we come back for streams. Because, of course, with City Builders, they're a lot more in-depth than, uh, than most games. Sometimes things can be a slow learning process or a slow building process, but that's cool. Like, what's the rush? No rush at all. Can I build back here? Nice. The drawbridge stuff is so cool. The uh, the random construction of certain things is very interesting. Okay, now we got a population of 667. What about that other settlement? Hope they don't ever get attacked. Eventually we gotta trade with the neighbors. You. Trade with the neighbors? Yeah, Twitch chat keeps trying to launch raids on the settlement. Let's go build around our iron mine. Question mark. Wait, let's go check that out. It's good. Okay. Oh, what is this? We are. We are. But humble. Is that Morgan? Many from the great. Looks like Morgan too. Please demolish this poultry. And we will rebuild wherever you survey a good spot. Mm-hmm. Okay, Morgan. We are but humble refugees. Uh, the... That... The, the long, like, uh, shadowy area is called the Shard, but I don't, I don't know what that means. It could be lore from the first game, but I'm not sure. I can't recall the lore from the first one, other than some of the factions. But I don't know. Called the Shard. And the Maw. Maybe a giant, giant worm? I don't know. There's another ship. Imagine all the games that have uh, April Fools today. I do know there is a. Um, well met. I carry stone and gravel. My father carried. Oh, captain for hire. My son will after I'm gone. Let us carry it for you. I know there's a. 
an update today for a house flipper that uh, you can place lava on the ground. You can make the you know the floor is lava. Like okay. Wow, we filled up all the the iron facility. Look at that. The iron I transport is helping us. Things are improving. Things are good. Things are improving. This route is profitable. Looks like we're not bringing stone here. Oh, I guess we are. This music is so good. Pillow Fort mod, what for Farthest Frontier? Lots of room for activities. You want every game to have a pillow mod? Population now at 7.02. This looks like a military one. A uh, group of refugees waiting to be resettled in a new outpost. This is the Manser. Manser outpost. Imperium. I don't know if I want the Imperium to grow. I don't want them to get too strong. Hey, yeah, there's another ship. Let's go check that out. Let's go exploring. A refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we could take p these people in. Yes. More. Seems I have finally found that rumored safe haven, and what a sorry sight. Where are your gunships, your corvettes? Where is your fleet? Truly, my services are urgently needed. This here is an ironclad steam rig. Not many of these around anymore, and she is for hire. We seek a new patron, new waters to guard, and new harbor for repairs and restocking. What say ya? Well, hell yeah. All right, we got a big old ship to join us now. Our army grows. Hopefully he'll RTB. Are my sunglasses blue color? Yeah, so these are actually yellow sunglasses. My green, my uh, OBS picks up yellow as kind of green too, which is weird, but whatever happens is that these uh, glasses then kind of take on the shape of the background. So it's kind of cool. So if I play a game that's green, then my glasses will turn green. This meager holding was always a last resort. Oh, Agent Crew is here. We need a more permanent home. Demolish this temporary haven so we can rebuild upon a spot of your choosing. Good. Join me, my children. We 
We're packing it all up. Um, there we go. Wonder how we're gonna trade with the neighbors. Maybe oh there's another let's go up there. We'll get to that ship and then we'll see if we can trade with the Temple of the Hidden Tears. Got population up to seven hundred, that's pretty good. On our way we'll be on the lookout for more uh, settlements. Structured settlements. Hello there. Word has it that you have a space for me and my crew. We'll make a fine addition to your workforce. Come on in. Oh, and another. Wow, ex exploring is, like, huge. You get lots of stuff for that. These are hard times. And Pirates? They bring the need for uneasy alliances. My group and I have been on the run for so long. We seek refuge and will submit to your service. Sure. You know what we need? Final Fantasy VII City Builder. Should be able to build a Midgar. What do we have here? Admiring the Mount's advancements, eh? Sad it took four decades of war to get here. And now it's going to waste because so many have left us. Okay. We will send out iron in exchange for stone. Would that suit you? Iron in exchange for stone. Okay, that sounds good. Trading harbor requires resources which can be exchanged for goods or mercenaries. Be sure to build a connecting harbor, assign the right captain, provide the required outgoing exchange incoming resources. Oh, they've already got a uh, trade route here? Okay. Oh, okay. So I gotta go home and build a new one. So we got to build a trade harbor now. Back at HQ. Oh, and there's another damn boat. Let's go get that first. We're going to need more boats. Another settlement. We, the speakers of the sacred steps, have seen better days. But I'm proud of what my people have accomplished to end the war. We brought those together to speak that needed to be heard. And we are now available to help ease your factional tensions. We can get people back to work through the sacred power of prayer and speech. Oh, really? Okay. 
We get a unique building if we demolish this. Maybe another extractor? No. We're supposed to get a unique building, but I'm not sure which one. Okay, so let's build another harbor now. Yeah, we can build it here. It's directly I'm connected to the stones, so. Our people. I will patrol and defend here. A risky route. Alright, go ahead and defend that. My ship stands in good. I will carry stone and workers only. No. Any pirate would do well to avoid my guns. I will sweep this trade route clean. I'll ferry Protected. your workers anywhere. I've been chased for stealing wood from mm. Southampton. I'll ferry your any pirate. I will carry stone and workers. Well, only. I can send Nothing stone else. there, but then we don't have anything to pick up the iron. So we got to find a ship to transport iron. It brings me joy to see our settlement thriving. Or I could change that trade route. I think we'll just be able to find a ship, really. Because I, I could change around that other trade route where that guy will, will pick up anything, so that way he can he can bring the stone there and bring iron back. But I think I'm just going to go keep finding other ships. Coffee Stain Studio announced Satisfactory's coming to the Switch. Yeah, I can't wait to play that 8-bit game. Oh, there is stuff to the east. Hidden stuff. Chad, is there any uh, April Fool's updates we should check out? I found out that Farthest Frontier literally has a bear mode, essentially. If there's anything else, tell me. Good day. You might not happen to need a Master Mason. <gasps> I can oversee Ooh. the stone production and improve it significantly. Oh, welcome aboard, sir. I need you because you... Oh, did I take over this quarry too? Oh. I don't know. I don't have enough ships to transport this back though. I'll build a harbor. We gotta go get more ships. Any pirate would do well to avoid my guns. I will i I'll ferry I've been chased for stealing. I'll ferry your workers anywhere. If you'll let me. Uh we'll come back to that, but at least we have this as an outpost now. Alright, so we can find outposts that will just join us or extractors that are just like, hey. I'll join you. Also, he's is he someone we can reassign now? Where was that Master Mason? There he is, Master Mason Michael. I wonder if I can unassign him from this new port and do it at the I'm curious. I want to go here. Oops. Then can I assign him? Yeah, I don't think we can assign people to quarries. Or maybe he gives a general boost to all quarries, but he's stationed at that one. Question mark down there. Oh, it just disappeared.
The question marks can come and go quickly. There's a war there. Population approaching 800. Chat messing with me some more, yeah. Yeah, the voice acting here is really cool. Oh, and our trade route's doing well. Oh, that's cool. There's actually a ship escorting that trade ship all the way to the uh, north. That's cool. How was that? I don't see anything here. Mm. Let's go back this way. Go check out the rest of these islands. I guess we could trade with the pirates for more wood there. They seem to have a trade dock. Keep peeking at these islands. Then we'll have an, a bunch of iron waiting for us at the neighbors. Now I gotta get a, a ship to transport that. Wonder, is there a way we can review our fleet? No. I guess we could do it via the soul tree with the captains. Yeah, so there's our warships. Okay. <laughs> I don't know where that one logging camp was. Okay, I don't think we're going to get any new ships. Let's uh, redo this harbor. All right, bruh. What do we got going on? The iron ore transport is helping our settlement grow and prosper. So he's bringing iron back. Things are improving. Things are good. And this guy's bringing wood. So he's bringing wood. The iron ore transport is helping our. Things are improving. And I'm gonna. This route is profitable. Sign this guy. I'll transport anything you wish me to. All right. Well, we should get the iron then. Actually, this guy can do two. He can do. Yeah, he can transport iron and stone then. So he'll do to and from. My ship stands in. I've been chased for stealing wood from Salad Mount to Duck. I'll ferry. Any pirate. I'll transport anything you wish me to. What else we got? Brings me joy. My ship. My ship stands in good order. My ship stands in good order. Brings me joy. I'll transport anything you wish. Things are improving. This okay. So that guy's gonna bring stone and then bring back iron. So he should be leaving soon. Wow, that takes him a long time to get up there. But that's like the closest neighbor. Okay, population is. 
788. We need more. More workers are needed. Good. Can we upgrade our base tower? Uh, no, it might be fully upgraded. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the requirement to upgrade it is. Now we're up to 803. Yep, we... Just need a more area for housing. room oh look at all that space on the mountain let's go Ooh, cool that's neat the lighting and the color palette in this game is great too I like it built up that's getting. I guess the, the eventual goal is to try to take every little piece of land and build stuff on it. Like we want to build up here.
Lots of room for houses there. Now population's at 892. Oh, yeah. Let's see what else we can upgrade. Can I upgrade extractors and stuff? Can't upgrade extractors. I can upgrade this tower again if I want to. That's about as upgrade as that gets. Okay, let's go back to that iron mine. What are the extractors for? Uh, they mine materials like stone, iron, and uh, wood. Ooh. Okay, we can try to upgrade the iron mine more. Uh, there's still some free space here. Oh, population over a thousand now. Let's go. Things are really moving for us now. back here and keep keep building so I think our goal eventually is once we're done like once we've kind of filled in all this space which will take a while because we got all these rocks here and whatnot then we'll go to that other outpost that we built and build that one up too Cannot expand further without access to wood. Oh, well. That's a good spot for future expansion. Hey, 
Hey, what's up, Mark? Uh, our schedule is down below in the description, uh, or exclamation point schedule. You can see what we got coming up next. Welcome to the stream. Let me build on the mountain. Wow, look at this. Damn, this cool as hell. How big we made that. Population at 1,400. Wow, so essentially we just doubled our population from before when we started the effort. Okay. Let's send our scout up there. We'll check on him later. Oh, look at all the territory here to build, all that shallow ground. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, this this game is... I don't think it released into early access, but the dev is an indie dev that's just, like, constantly taking player feedback and adding stuff. So with it being one person, it's like they can, you know, only do so many things per day, but... Looks like there's a lot of great feedback from the community, and then it's immediately put into the game as soon as possible. I'm sure there's, like, a roadmap, but yeah. Yo, Cheesy Poofs, thanks for the nine bits, dude. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Wow. I got some bits on Twitch. That's cool. Thank you. Dino Nugs in the chat. Let's go. Hey, wait. Our ship is back. I got babysit you the whole way. All right, fine. Let's go on an adventure. We'll let the city grow for a while. We built plenty of spots for homes. Also, Mr. Nadine. And there goes our ships on the trade route. It's interesting, the map is huge, like it'll take a long time just to fly around the map. 
and establish trade routes. Raptor, I'm getting my floors replaced today and the guys found water damage from the previous owners. Can I get a few F's in the chat? Oh no. F, F to the wallet, but yeah. Still looking for question marks. Squid emote is fun. Yeah. I wanted to get one for Mentos. See if we get ourselves the Mentos uh, roll. Homeowner's dream. Water damage. Yeah. I can play the Mentos theme for a minute if it'll make you feel better. Here, how about this? Um, but we'll we'll play it on times. Play it on times two. That made you feel better. I I don't like these guys. They're like, they're creepy. I'm getting the hell out of here. Actually, let's see what uh, this town trades. You were drinking a Diet Coke while the Mentos theme played. That that that's uh, that could be an explosion. Hmm. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Uh, free game alert. The folks at Landfall Games, which make a bunch of... They're like a s Swedish developer that I, I think they're the ones who made, uh, like, Epic Battle Simulator or whatever. Hold on. They just came out with a free game. Okay. FYI, this game is now free. There's a game that just dropped called Content Warning, and it'll only be free until the 24th, and it looks like it could be one of those next popular games. It looks like they're trying to go for... Uh, lethal company or something. Upload your chaotic footage to spook. Oh, it's like a ghost hunting thing. So it looks like a, a combo of lethal company with going down to the planet on a ship and then phasmophobia with like taking pictures and stuff. Morgan? You want to give this one a try? In-game handheld working video camera, two to four play. Oh yeah, Th okay. This is gonna be. They're trying to go for Lethal Company and uh, and Phasmophobia. This is free. Morgan, can you download that one and uh, see how to play, and then you can babysit us. Oh, actually, wait. Free to keep when you get it before April second. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. So you gotta buy the. You gotta get this one right now. So, hold on. I'm gonna 
make sure it doesn't. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna tell the troop of this one. I gotta, I gotta tell the boys. Citrus, we need to take this camera. This is Citrus's first game, by the way, guys. Uh, say hi in the comments to Citrus Bird. We need to go in Hello. into that ship, um, film cool stuff for our viewers, and then upload the video and make views, which make us money to make more views and more money. So let's go. Oh, that's really cool. You make money by uploading your videos and then can buy more equipment. Oh, that's cool. Okay. <coughs> I'm getting a, a calling all goobers. This is really cool. All right, we've landed. We've touched down. By the way, I love how the video footage, like, the camera is really crappy. Like, it's like 380, uh, it's like 360p. So now we're going to try finding something scary to get on, to get on film for you guys. But the game itself right, so is higher quality. That's awesome. Just been suggest Can you touch it? Yeah. Oh, F, F, this, oh, this is, this is great, this is great, this is great. This is the new, this is the new lethal, comp lethal pho uh, phobia. Influencer nonsense. Guys, in today's video, guys, today, guys, hey, guys, if we get the numbers up, guys, appreciate it, guys, 10 million subs, guys, appreciate it. This is perfect. All right, hold on. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell all the goof troop. And also, uh, mods, if you could uh, maybe tell everybody on the Discord that this game is free. We should put out a APB on this one. Uh, this is gonna be really neat. Okay, I'm sending out a message to all my friendos. Hopefully we can get them in. Morgan, can you tell Indrid about this too? And who else did we play Phasmophobia with? I think Red, Dirty, Lumber... Well, I'm just going to put on an APB for everybody that I usually play with. Today's such an awesome day, Chad. We get like all these, uh, <laughs> we get all these like um, free games today, and then we get. Um, and tell Alex about this. We get a bear update. Oh, let's do this. I'm gonna tell Booster about this too. I don't know if he likes phasmophobia. I think everybody's going to think I was hacked. Okay. Well, spread the word, everybody. Hopefully we can get everybody in on that. It would warm my heart to be able to play a game again with my friends like that. Thanks for being patient. Today's just a really cool day of randomness, so I hope you all enjoy like the free new game. Yeah, bear mode for Farthest Frontier, which I think we'll play. We're going to have to play this content warning tonight. I wanted to play Played Up yesterday with Bradford, but he was... Uh, not feeling so good. Who is this guy who keeps following me? Who is this guy? This must be one of our friendships. Alright. I, I was nervous. Let's go check what this town has to offer. I must be an ally. I see a change in schedule. Oh yeah, there'll be changes. Well... I think we're in an unreliability phase right now, so we'll try to we'll get Morgan in. Used to be the primary source of wood for the entire northern Nursey, but the markets kind of collapsed with the war and all that, you know. We're about to pack up and leave. There's nothing much keeping us here, unless you're in need of some wood. Hell yeah, let's trade wood. Yeah, we got more wood than we would ever need. Do with some iron though. Perfect. 
Okay, so then we need to trade iron to them. That's a long way to go, man. Wait, that's the trade route? No. I'm going to delete that. Pretty sunrise, pretty, pretty. Let's build another harbor. That'll do. Okay, good. Any pirate would do well to avoid my guns. I will. This route is a. I'll ferry your. I've been chased for stealing wood from Salakov to Dunkel the Four. Wood is being shifted. We can collect wood, but I need to trade. Wood is this. I need to get somebody to transport iron now. We gotta go find some more ships. Let's go look around. Something over here. Yeah, yeah. The, the game is free until tomorrow. So if you don't download it now, you'll have to pay a fee tomorrow. And what's probably going to happen is this could be one of those games that explodes on YouTube for the next month or so or on Twitch. It might happen. But, you know, look, if a game is free and you don't really like it, at least you didn't have to pay anything. It's like hitting the like button. It's free. I think until the 24th it won't be free. Well, it said April 2nd when I read the fine print. I thought it said the 24th in their email, but... What the hell? The, the there we go. The the Gain a commander? Alright. What the hell's here? Oh, more iron? Oh, nice. All right, well, uh, you know. Now we got more iron. Now I could trade with those folks up there. Well, I need, I need more ships, though. I can't, I, I can't get back without uh, ships. I can build a couple of trade docks. Which way is north? Okay. I can build I'll a couple of workers anywhere if you'll let me go ahead There's no one around for me to transport it's quiet on both sides I'll ferry your work okay all right let's build another dock Perfect. Okay, and now we need to... Uh, I need to get some more ships, otherwise I can't trade. We'll go on a little pl uh, pleasure cruise looking for boats. Don't know if we can actually make ships, but I guess because after the war, all the shipbuilding facilities are destroyed. Oh, it looks like, um, by the way, the game will be $8 when it, uh, it's free now, but it'll be $8 tomorrow. Uh, 
And I think it might just be four player. Any ships? Nope. I wonder if there's ships we can buy from somebody somehow. Buildings on the horizon, okay. So that's the only thing slowing us down now is trade routes. And we need boats. Yeah, it'll be $8, so $8 off. It's free for 24 hours. After that, you gotta pay. Could be the biggest game of the year. Are there storms in this game? Yeah, but I don't think they actually affect anything. Like, I don't know if they slow down our boats or damage anything. I'm not sure. It appears that my previous patronage has neglected to supply our station here and has left us stranded. No, this, this game is not free. The one we were talking about just moments ago. This game is 18. Uh-oh. Man, we need a Mad Max city builder that plays like this, where instead of the ocean, it would just be huge swaths of, like, desert. And, like, being able to set up trade routes and stuff like that would be so cool. There's so many franchises that could benefit from a city builder. Terminator, for example, would be a fascinating uh, little city builder. I, I have a feeling it would it'd be interesting to do one that, like, played like... Uh, um, this War of Mine, or whatever, the, the one where you're, like, a, a surviving in apartment buildings and stuff. I played that before on the channel. That's another one I, I got to give a try to. I've forgotten everything about that game and played so little that I, I, I'll just consider it a first look. Company, Mongres Lost Sons, bids you welcome. This is a dangerous place, and sometimes the help of an outsider is required for those tasks. Might I recommend my company? Master Salad Tree. The mercenary All right, let's hire some mercenaries. So our army grows now. Oh. I'll ferry your workers anywhere. My bad. We need more workers to support this mercenary company. We need more workers to support this mercenary company. We need more workers. Okay, I'm gonna take him with us back to our main camp or whatever. Hey, what's up, Rod? Welcome back. Mad Max City Builder would be great. I know, it'd be really cool. You'd be able to build, like... You know what'd be really cool is, like, being able to customize all the vehicles, and then, you know, they would have different... Uh, purposes like raiding or transporting or whatever and it'd be really cool so our mine is such a great game yeah it's a game that's kind of like it's like Frostpunk where it's like it is a little you do have to make some pretty hardcore decisions and deal with some pretty big problems but like you feel good at the end because you like overcame. Like in the middle of it, it's a huge like drop in your happiness. But I feel good about what we did in Frostpunk this year. Man, we got we got through like the first game with only like one or two people dying, which is great after playing it for not playing it for a very long time. And same with the DLCs. We got uh, one of the first. The, the arc mission done. One of, like, the side missions. Now I think we're on to DLCs. What is that? That looks like a giant bear trap. Look at that. The Day of the Bear. I can't believe... My birthday is International Bear Day. Yeah, there's a game called... The game we were talking about earlier is called Content Warning. And it looks to be 
Lethal Company, like you come down to the surface of a planet, like in Lethal Company, and then you go into these like really scary buildings, which is kind of like phasmophobia because you're supposed to get like evidence of these monsters and then return home and then upload the footage. So it's kind of like a YouTuber thing. And you could tell that's exactly who they're they're targeting. Like, hey goobers, come make content of our game. It'll be free today. Get everybody onboarded. Actually, I wonder if it's... Let us let me take a quick little peek on Twitch and see who might be playing already. Let's see. Although, I think this will be a game that uh, picks up over the next couple of days. Let's see. Mm, just a few people playing, but it'll it'll grow. This game's got great music, too. So if we're going to do any more growing or trading, I need more ships because I can't... I don't think I can assign a ship to multiple ports, can I? It'd be kind of cool if there was a way where we could make them do a loop. That'd be nice. You want Ponty's Pizza Simulator? Do I still see people playing Killer Frequency? Killer Frequency is a game that I'd love to play every Halloween, although I kind of remember how things play out. Zucosis? Necromorphs? But with zoo animals, what the hell? Interesting. Okay, now we're scouting around for supply. Is the map randomly generated each time you start a new campaign? Uh, I don't think so. But that might be because this is kind of the first mission. There's a free play mode, so that might be randomly generated. But honestly, I'm not sure. But I could definitely see it being randomly generated where it's like uh, in Sea of Thieves where like the islands are always the same, but they're in different locations. Anno does that too when you play Anno 1800. Where it'll pick certain uh, islands and then put them in random spots. I think we'll play Content Warning tonight. We'll see who's around. Refugee settlement has been spotted. Ah, oh, there we go. It pays to look around. Does Lethal Company have a final stage of the story? No, that game's still early access. It will be fascinating to see where it goes. Yeah, we'll do that. But yeah, the devs still working on like lore and stuff. When I was at uh, PAX, I saw at least I think three groups, maybe it was the same people, it was hard to tell, because they were all in really nice-looking uh, Lethal Company uh, uniforms. But I, I think there was at least two groups of four people dressed up in Lethal Company outfits doing the dance. And then um, then I saw other people carrying, like, the stop sign and, like, the, the giant bolt that you can find. Pretty cool. People are goobers. Well, I'd love to establish more trade routes, but I can't uh, get any boats here. Let's go up this way. I'm going to keep an eye on my email chat and see if we get any more stuff. Also, we'll be doing, uh, if we play Farthest Frontier today, uh, we will probably play, um, 
Uh, we will probably do a giveaway for that, yeah. That's weird. What's up, Wolfbane? You're a big fan. You watch all the videos that tell you learn about new games. Yeah. And luckily, the channel is big enough to where developers will just kind of email me and send me, like, news on their game coming out or something. So, even if a game might not interest you, at least we get news on it. You know, like, it doesn't hurt to check something out. Ashlands? Oh, I don't know. I don't really have... I don't know. I don't... I'd like to play... Uh, Valheim during the day, and I just don't know if Alex is free anymore to do that stuff. And I'd like to play with more people, but it seems like, you know, even though Dirty and Lumberjack and other people are growing their channels, they are uh, seemingly less free. Me and Red are free all the time, too, but some games require four, like, uh, you know, Lethal Company. I want to play that with, like, four players. It ju it's just more entertaining that way. It's the same with GTFO. Like, there are ways, you I guess, you could play it with two-player, but it's just more fun with four. More like played up, but we need Bradford. Some games we need responsible adults to monitor us. Yeah, I don't know about that airport renovator game. I played the demo like two and a half, three years ago, and I, I don't think I heard any more news. Any boats? I'm just looking around for boats. I, I need to get. Uh, I need to recruit other captains so we can do more trading, and then grow our settlement. Also, the de developer did say some things were like tied to population, so we're at 1,500. I guess maybe if I don't find anything soon, we'll just head back to base and then uh, we'll just keep building. Maybe it'll spawn another ship. Let's find out what this is, though, this gray area. Oh, it's whoa. It's an area of land. That these giant generators are keeping back. Is there a settlement here? Oh yeah. Got him. Okay. What is this? Iron mine, okay. So it's an area of a lot of resources. It's actually land and not water. Fascinating. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's mines in the middle of the canyon, basically. A substantial settlement in the distance. Let's head home. I'm gonna. I'll just fast travel. Okay, let's keep building. Get our rookie numbers up. So we're at 1500. Let's try to hit 2k. Big storm. Layers on top of layers. But <laughs> damn, the city looks really cool. Fifteen ninety seven. Some more stuff around here. Population might go up faster if you add a cheesecake factory. Oh. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Mass Red? Welcome to the stream. Oh, there we go. Some houses are being built there, too. Oh, yeah. So now we're at 1,700. I hope people build in this thing. Uh oh. Nice. Pirates. Thank you. 
Ooh, look at all the houses that built up there. Nook and cranny. We're filling in everything here. Cool bridge. Ooh, nice. Big platform. up to population 2000 okay we're close we're close to the 2k Pirates again, damn it, chat. Wow. Okay, we made over two thousand now.
I'm gonna upgrade my defenses, I think. Chat's launching all these attacks on me. Good, another defensive tower. Maybe one here? Any more ships? Oh, we got ships going north. That's good. Make sure we save, too. I think it did. All right, chat. Well, that's all the time we have for now for Bulwark uh, Falconeer Chronicles. Available now on Steam. A, a very interesting and much different city builder than I'd expected, but very cool. I'm not sure about uh, how to continue on with boats and whatnot, but it does seem like there's uh, you know multiple different chapters and whatnot to play. So maybe we'll do those in the future. So uh, certainly much different than we've played before. A very unique game. Plays a little bit like Anno. Feels a little bit like Townscaper. Definitely has some uh, vibes of foundation with the uh, art style and whatnot. But overall, really cool. And the developer will be working on some more things for guiding players and whatnot in the future. The, the, the dev was literally in the chat saying, hey, I'm going to be adding uh, some more things for tutorials and whatnot, which is cool. Um, and this game, I guess, is complicated because it's so different, but it's not really complicated. It's very fun. All right. We're going to go live to a new video on the channel for a game that uh, just came out, um, I think, uh, earlier in the month. Well, actually, like last month. Uh, but it is a game that uh, I want to check out on the channel in the future, too. So I'm going to send you over to a brand new video on the channel. Uh, we're going to be doing some cool uh, XCOM meets Commando stuff with this one. So there's the link in the chat for it. And I will see you all in a little bit for likely Farthest Frontier's bear update. Yeah, we'll be playing some Farthest Frontier, I think, in a little bit. And then we'll be back with a game called Content Warning, which is free right now on Steam. Content Warning is free on Steam for now. So there you go. Uh, click or tap the link in the chat, and I will see you all in just a little bit. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing, and we'll see you all uh, when we see you. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.